Get that combo breaker out. We're recording. We heard you say, let's get that combo breaker out. Yeah. Yeah. What's up? How's it going? What's up? How's it going? <laughs> Welcome. And, and that's it. No title drop. No title mention. You ain't got no what title shot. Doing? What are you guys doing? I hear you like as these dogs are like scampering around as if there's a person. I thought you were trying to be like, what are y'all doing in my house? Like what who are these people? <laughs> trying to be a little little quirky, little Really, Shamrock, you're just gonna get on the futon and start humping cinnamon. Hell yeah, do it. Let's go. <laughs> really? Let me, let me, let's get the Shamrock cam real quick. Let go. <laughs> They've been bam, uh, just bam, 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 bam. So, uh, what's up? Do we have any topics in particular this, this round? I don't, I don't think so. I mean, I had some stuff I wanted to talk about, but like, it really only came up like last night and like probably yesterday. Um, for sure. One of them is, let's see, Game Studios is gone. They are live. Ayana Design, you didn't even talk about it. Um, <laughs> I, 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 I told you. <laughs> DOA 2, the GOAT. We, we already The GOAT, it. yes. Zafina story. We could do that. And then more Mortal Kombat discussion just in general with Rain, I guess. Okay, can we start with the rain thing before I forget? Uh, yeah, of course. And then uh, RGV stuff and like what we got down here. If you want to be more nine five six. Hell yeah, let's go. Okay, okay. Well, let's start with rain real quick. Uh, there was a combat cast like two days ago. I think I don't know if you're. I don't know if you keep up with those. Probably not. Combat cast. Yeah, I haven't seen them. I just saw that the story had came out and that was it. Oh, okay, yeah, that too. I didn't watch it. I I am like just trying not to watch it uh, all i know is that chronica is back because of like people were saying yeah. talking about it. i'm like oh that's fucking stupid but okay so rain um okay it's like probably just on me right it usually is just me that fucking has these issues but uh the last game in the last game uh they made a whole combat cast about rain when he, when you know they revealed him and they were you know getting prepped to like release him and everything um and they talked about his his uh his uh roundhouse kick right his his fucking around the world kick yeah, yeah where like he hits you or he kicks you on one side of the screen and then you appear yeah. on the other side. yeah yeah okay Classic. so uh they said like oh yeah no it's super unrealistic that he kicks you from one side of the screen to the end across the world to the other side of the screen like they're like yeah that's super unrealistic okay, wait, wait, wait. What do you mean they said that? Who yeah, they, yeah, no. Uh, uh, the I believe it's the same girl who's doing the stuff now. Like she's she's the combat director or whatever. Uh, but, but but they had an eleven and they kind of showed a reason why, didn't they? Yeah, 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 yeah. A water portal. Yeah. No, that's why. So she's like, it's it's unrealistic that he would kick you across the world. So we made it. So now there's a portal, and that's how you, like, you know, go through from one side of the screen to the other, right? Uh-huh. So I was, like, I was, like, a little, like, miffed about it at the time. I was, like, uh, I mean, I like the novelty or I like the joke that he kicks you so hard you go across the world. Yeah. I love <laughs> that. That's so funny. You know, in it's, a more, like, realistic sense, like, him being water and being a demigod. All right, the portal, the portal makes sense if yeah. people, were, like, wanted to press it. And be like, well, I don't like that he kicks you around the world. Yeah. And I guess there's an explanation there. But I don't think anybody was ever like, oh, it's, it's no, unrealistic no. or, you know, that's stupid. No, I mean, Mortal Kombat itself is stupid, but, like, it's fun, right? And that 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 thing about Rain was fun, and they took it away, and then I was yeah. like, oh, okay, you put it into context. Okay, whatever. Yeah, yeah well, fucking Jack's turning giant. Right. Yeah, Sonya's stupid kiss of death. Yeah. Uh, you have stupid. It's silly, but I like that they kept it. Fucking the speedster. Oh, I forget. Oh, like, Cabal. Cabal's like scary face. 
Right, yeah, all of that. It's, it's still the there. Head. It's in the same oh, game yeah. also. Um, so this Nick this combat cast comes out. I watched a little bit of it during and then I lost my shit when I saw it. Um <laughs> so they're going, they're talking about Rain's normals and whatever, and then she's like, Oh, then this is my favorite and then if you hold uh four if you press four you do the roundhouse kick. And it does go across the or around the world, and and they said it, and I was like, "The fuck happened to the portal?" <laughs> I'm like, "What was like that? What was wrong with it being unrealistic? You guys said it was unrealistic, and you didn't want to do that, and you wanted to yeah, do the portal." Just a little stronger in this timeline. I'm like, "Fuck <laughs> you, uh, you a uh, bitch." I hate, I hate that you went back on this design. I liked the rain design in eleven. I thought he was cool. Right, yeah, he was cool. Yeah. He was real sick, and and now he's like a mage, and I'm like, oh, that's fucking lame. But whatever, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get on it too much because his animations are pretty cool. Yeah. I just don't, I just don't like that. Sorry, Mr. Edenia. The what? Sorry, Mister Edenia. Sorry, Mister uh, Mister Universe. <laughs> uh, no, but yeah, like I just, I don't know, like. He's he's supposed to be a ninja, and then uh, they they keep changing him, right? Like he started off as a ninja, then he was like a prince. Yep. And then I was yep. like, okay, he's still a prince, but like he's Check. you know he's fine. He he goes back to a ninja in like nine, kind of, back to prince in ten. Yep. And then eleven's like, okay, we're kind of going back to ninja, or like you know uh, with the Indian guitar and everything. And then I was like, okay, no. No more ninja, no more prince, mage. <laughs> I was like, "What the fuck?" Also, well, if uh, we'll get to it. Be a mage, if anyone was gonna be a mage, it would have to be Rain. R- a- anyways, I got distracted. Sorry. It, it would be Rain. I think. I think that would be fine. Maybe, maybe Sub Zero, but that would piss a lot of people off. Yeah, I know that Rain would. Kind of like that side character that like. I guess they could do whatever they want because, you know, just don't touch our two main quote unquote ninja slash assassin. Right. I mean, uh, in a way, also, though, I would have probably also put Ermac. Like, Ermac could also probably be a mage. Yeah, but, well, I don't know how. We, we still don't know, like, anything about Ermac. He's just, That's true. He's just there in the combat pack. That's true. Um, But yeah, I could see, like, a mage, like, a soul thing, kind of like. I feel like they would just turn him into like kind of Shang Tsung, but I like the fact that he's like a compiled of like a bunch of souls. Yeah, that's cool too. I yeah. like that. That's cool. Watch him just be like a dead body this time around. That's not even any souls or anything. He's just he's, he's just, just a one, corpse. Like, corpse. <laughs> it's like, I I would be miffed as well. I would also. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna switch topics here just a little. We're come back to Mortal Kombat. There's some other stuff I want to bring up. Um, yeah, like like why people say Johnny K is so good. <laughs> That's what that was one. I guess pause. pause. I'm pausing. Okay. No, I was telling you that. <laughs> like okay. enough Mortal Kombat discussion. God damn it. Okay. All right. For now. We're going to come back to it. Um, I'm okay. pretty sure you're still listening to me, so I'm just kind of kind of going to go off. Uh, Real quick about the Ayane design in... in um, specifically in two or... Two uh, specifically alternate? in three. Not, not two. It was in three. Because, uh, like, for uh, Dead or Alive 1, 2, and, like, after right four and five and i guess nah six kind of goes back to it not really no nah, actually five uh, six isn't even there it, it, but like okay so for those games she's just like the ninja like she just has like either like super tight like outfit or like the the kind of fucking what you call it the robes or whatever uh-huh. um and i'm like yeah that's okay that's cool i guess like i, I don't i don't really care Right, I'm not like here or there for it, but in three specifically, she has like that um that more padded looking shit and like uh 
I don't know, it's like bulky in a way, like not like too bulky, but yeah, it's like kind of bulky. And like, I just like it. I just like that, like for a one game, she went like her default design went for a more like just actual ninja, actual ninja style, yeah, and like less of like oh scantily clad woman, like most games do, like like, uh, like the prominent DOA three just designs in general. Yeah, I actually gave her like a ninja thing going on. Yeah. And then, like, I think that costume did come back in, like, other games, right? In future games. Like, it was, like, either DLC or, like, you could unlock it. But I don't think it ever really looked the same. Like, I don't know for whatever reason. Like, any girls in the series, right? Uh, I guess the closest would be, like, maybe Hitomi. In her first appearance, like, it's just, like... Oh, you're right. Like, the gi and everything? Yeah, the gi. Or yeah, like, okay. or like the the fucking the jean jacket with the with oh, the crop top, yeah. you know, also like that, yeah. like it's like it's not like overly sexualized or anything. It's just kind of like, just yeah, like no, this is like something that someone would wear. Yeah, yeah, like legit. could not be said for Tina <laughs> in most <laughs> games. Yeehaw, brother. Yeehaw. But yeah, I mean, there wasn't like too much to go into that. Right, but yeah, it's no, I. A little but yeah, yeah. Like, it's surprising that they did do that for three, for her. Out of like everything, <laughs> for that kind of game. Yeah. Has a reputation of uh, being a little, a little saucy, a little weird. And for, I think in my mind at least. Um. The outfit she wears in 3, also, I think that comes from a Ninja Gaiden. Like, it's like... Uh, I was going to say that also. When... Uh, it's it's when you lose too many times and you choose easy or whatever. Like, you choose to lower the difficulty. Uh-huh. Uh, and then she goes like, oh, that's fine, Master... Or Ryu, because she's like, you're no longer Master Hayabusa. I'll lead the the clan from now on. You just carry on with your mission. You know, and and she's wearing, I think she's wearing that shit, like that outfit specifically. And it's like, oh, okay, (laughs) okay. I I got that cutscene like once, right? And I was like, holy shit, no. And then I reloaded my my previous save because I was like, fuck that. (laughs) Girl can't lead it. Girl can't lead it. (laughs) No, but like I can't be insulted like this, bro. <laughs> <laughs> she fucking she tossed you right it's, under the bed. It's always that fucking level of disrespect <laughs> in like action games where it's like, oh, easy mode is not selectable or whatever, like that type of shit. But Ninja Gaiden took it like further by just being like, oh yeah, you're not, you're no longer Master Ryu. I'm taking over the clan. I was like, oh shit, <laughs> you are nothing but a guy. A ninja fighting character in Dead or Alive. <laughs> but I think that's where that costume comes from. If I'm not mistaken. I, I'm pretty sure. I feel like it is. Yeah, from from what I searched up right now, I put Ayane on accident. Uh, just three. Not DOA three. Just Ayane three. And it showed me, like, all the fucking, like, designs of her in uh, fucking Ninja Gaiden. Yeah. I just wanna, I just wanna do a little quick banter. Okay. I tell Alex the whole time, all the time, Jack in the Box fries. I want them straight, curly, <laughs> overrated. I don't want it. Tell me why the fuck I got a large curly fries right here. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> they always put in the curly fry, bro. They they it's always do. Fries. I get it, curly fries, right? But I don't like them straight. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah you good. had to, you had to blow up about that real quick. I had to. I ate one. I ate another one. I was like, I wanted straight while you were talking about Ayane. <laughs> okay, and then I did a quick like search of that costume as well. And yeah, no, it's like it's so good. It's like subtly, it's like a little, you know, alluring. It's a little, wait, because it's like the. It's not really a crop top, but like just like the, I guess the sports bra or whatever the the whatever you want to call it. 
right? So it's like showing skin on top and below, but like it's covered by the rest of the outfit. Um, it's just like it's so subtly like like that, but like everything else is just covering up. And then, uh, they they do not bring back this. I'm I'm like now I'm for sure that they do not bring back this outfit at all because I just looked at the DOA five one, and uh, it's not the same thing at all. It's like it's like trying to be that, but like. I think it's the sleeves that, that like really like put it all together because like the one in the OA5 is like the same like v vest part but there's no sleeves yeah. and then there's no like um coverage the way the same way it is in front I don't know I, I just I really like that DOA3 design and I'm mad they never brought it back bro she was the cover come on <laughs> Come on, she was on the cover with that outfit. Let's go. <laughs> what if, like, she stripped you of your title in the next game? Uh, it's just her on the cover. Damn, bro, that's fucked up. <laughs> just depending on like which one, which like difficulty you played it on, is what they sent you in the mail <laughs> the next, the <Yeah>. next game. <laughs> <laughs> that would be that would be like so immersive, a next level. <laughs> Tobunobu Iragaki. Do Iragaki. it. Do it right now. Crazy man. Come R to my house. <laughs> Come to my house right now. I'll give you these curly fries. He shows up, puts on his best Tommy Wiseau impression. <laughs> Hello, Logan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Logan. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> this, this fries is very good. <laughs> I'm just going for like a, a Japanese. Asian, yeah, <laughs> me, 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 so horny. Wow, <laughs> me, so sorry. <laughs> okay, stop before you get us canceled. <laughs> okay, okay, fine, fine. Okay, Iragaki, fine. I'm sorry, <laughs> don't come at me with that sword that you have in that one picture. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I, I guess it's like that is my rant, or that is my little, my little. TED Talks on, are, on Ayane. What time are you going to head out? Because you're uh, going at 8. How long does it take? Uh, probably like 15 minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not, that, it's not that long. We got like maybe 30 minutes. Worth, yeah. Right? Yeah, about. Um, What else was on the thing? I, I... It's like, how much longer? 12 hours to get down here also? <laughs> wait <laughs> yeah it's like 12 hours to get down here to the valley you yeah you miss anything down here oh okay uh eh, i mean i miss el pato i know that a lot i know a lot of people don't fucking like it but i miss el pato <laughs> you miss el pato yeah dude, no way, dude. yeah dude no for real <laughs> okay i don't want to talk about this anymore <laughs> <laughs> no come on <laughs> That's such a weird, like, main thing to miss down here. Just El Pato. Like, the first thing you, you say. Because, like, it's, like, the one thing I get, like, every time I go down there. Like, as soon as we get down there, we go to El Pato. Damn, dude. That and, like, stripes. But, I mean, that's not necessarily a valley thing. Yeah. But what? I'm sorry? Oh, damn. This, this soda got me acting up real here. <laughs> sorry. Ugh. From El Pato, which is, like, a restaurant yes for people who don't know um what what do you get why do you like it so much uh usually it's just the fucking chicken like the, the uh tacos the fucking you know the fucking standard item <laughs> I, I don't know the standard item yeah no. I, thought, I get only breakfast there it's like the classic oh okay That's okay Okay, okay. Yeah, no, they have, uh, like, an aguacate, uh, pollo con aguacate, like, tacos. And, uh, those, go, I don't know, those go hard. They, they go hard. They, they taste like, or like, it feels like you're eating something artificial. <laughs> <laughs> and that you can say that for a lot of El Pato items, but like, I don't know, it's just comforting. Like, it's just something that I grew up eating, and like, every time I go down, 
uh it's like the first thing i get other than like maybe a a uh like laredo taco company taco of course right that's those are like the two things right then from there it's like delias or like um trying to think of what um, else i don't think it, i don't i don't even know what else like oh delias delias tamales or let's go to eat at delias the what? Everyone's always like, "Oh, Delia's this, Delia's that." Uh-huh. Let's go eat at Delia's. Yeah. What? What even? Like, like, I don't get it. I don't get it. Alia's kind of like that, that too. <laughs> like when she when we go, she's like, "Oh yeah, let's go to Delia's or let's go pick up some Delia." At any point during the visit, she's like, "We should pick up some Delia's," and I'm like, "Okay." I don't know. <laughs> I guess people just really fucking like tamales that much. <laughs> Some yeah, people really love tamales. Like, okay, fine. Tamales, tamales are good. All right. I've had some good ones. I've had some dry ass ones. <laughs> and I've had George's mom's tamales. Her, her tamales are 10 out of 10. Amazing. The bomb. I've only had them once and I ate them. I ate a lot of them. I would totally ask her to like make them again. Just being one of these. George's mom, like George's sprinkled crack in there. <laughs> but they were like so good. And then I, I like I have Delia's tamales. And I'm just like, God, these they suck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't get it, man. I don't. I don't really get it either. I mean, it's like kind of like right now I'm having this like kind of like thing back and forth with Ali a little bit at least about places up here not to like move the move the locations or anything right but like um there's a place here called uh I think I told you it's um La Co- uh, El Cometa La Cometa El Cometa I remember it but I remember you saying it yeah okay so that place is like it's like okay I guess like they have flautas and then they only have bistec and um Al Pastor, tacos, that's it. Classics, but, like, if anyone were to have tacos, they would have that. <laughs> yeah. Like, bro, no cebrada, no uh, buche, birria, nothing. No, just just fucking the, the two. It's so funny that you say Al Pastor. Like, of course they would have that up there. <laughs> yeah, that's, like, all they have anywhere, really, like. Anywhere that I see like tacos, it's just like, oh yes, al pastor, al pastor. I'm like, god damn it, stop! Like even like, Chipotle fucking jumped that. on that shit too for a little bit. I've never seen anyone get that down here. Also, what al pastor? Yeah. Uh, I think the uh, only people I probably. knew. Yeah, I was like, I, I, I was like, the only people that got it, uh, for me, like, were my parents, like down there, like in the valley. That or trompo, which is like virtually the same thing. It's practically the same thing. Yeah. Trompo Just, still go hard though. Yeah, it do. It do. Um but yeah, and they they have three <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't know. I'm like iffy. Like I okay, so if the tripas are crisp, like crispy, like fried, fine. I'm okay. But like any other way, prepare. I don't know if I can't really do it. I'm sorry. No, it's Is it like the texture. Yeah, I think it's a texture and a little bit of the taste. It kind of gives me that um liver taste. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and so I'm not, I'm not with it. But when it's fried, just fucking, just fried the shit, and you can't really taste anything. That's I'm fine. I'm good. I'll eat it. I'll eat that. That's fine. <laughs> when I can't taste the Yeah, thing. when I can't taste the oh, thing I'm, yeah. I'm 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 gonna eat it. Yeah, no, of course. <laughs> yeah. I'll be good. I will be fine. I will just taste the cilantro and um onions and I'm good. Mm, yummy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so yummy. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh Don't get me wrong. by itself I feel like it's bomb also. But I, I'm a meat man, bro. I need that meat in my mouth. <laughs> okay. Pause. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. 
Uh, nah, I need it. <laughs> and like I know, I told you also like synchronizadas. Are, uh, that's something I miss for sure. Synchronizadas, because oh, man, I fucked up, up the other day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I went to Ollie's uh, birthday. at uh, fucking he wanted to go to Chuck E. Cheese, which is dog shit, bro. It's expensive <laughs> as fuck. It is, the and hell? the fucking pizza's ass. And the pizza was ass. <laughs> of course, I, I, I made the mistake of. Uh, I I took a bite. I was like, it's not that bad because it was me and Angel. He bought the pizza. And we were supposed to get pepperoni and beef, but for some reason they gave us sausage and I <laughs> tasted it. And I was like, ah, it's, it's pepperoni and sausage. It's good. And I ate like, I don't know how many slices and two cheese slices. And they just kept saying, like, this pizza sucks, dude. And I'm like, oh, well, more for me then. <laughs> and I ate a lot of. <laughs> I ate a lot of pizza, man. Like, a lot of that sausage pizza. And I ate one slice. I took a bite. And I... <laughs> I gagged, <dang, bro. laughs> It's fucking... It was so gross. I don't know why. It had just hit me, like, super late, dude. And I was like, I don't know how many pizzas in. I was like, this is gross. <laughs> Disgusting. I don't want no more. And they started laughing. We were like, this is where you call it quits? And it was that day, that Tuesday, I told you I was busy. Yeah. To work. I did the thing with you, uh, Gamescom. I cleaned up, went to Ollie's, and then I went to go eat again with uh, Angel and Marily. Yeah. And we went to this place called Taqueria La Era Dura. And okay. for some reason, I always get synchronizadas, like no matter what, no matter what taqueria. Yeah. I got it. It was Two big ass tortillas filled with fucking beans and meat, <laughs> that steak. And I just looked at it with the side of aguacate. The fucking cilantro was there, some onions. And I'm just like, oh fuck, dude, I'm. I don't want this. <laughs> I fucked up. There's too much food. I I downed one. And I should have called it quits, but Angel, tall Angel, was like. Nah, you got this, bro. And they started hyping me up. Everyone's like, go, eat, eat. And oh my god, dude. It was the worst <laughs> fucking experience. There's too much food. Too much synchronizada. And I gotta to, take a break. I gotta take a break. To just, uh, like, explain what a synchronizada is to people who don't know what that is. It's it's basically just a big burrito. It's, it's basically just a big burrito. It's like that, I want to say, like, maybe a 10-inch tortilla. Yeah. 10 or 8 inches. It's still like a big tortilla, though. Yes. And they wrap up your, your shit in there. It's like and they cut it in half. It all over it with uh, your choice of meat. If you want to do chicken, uh, maybe some places do it. But mainly just like steak. Normally, yeah. And they'll wrap it up. And you, you can open it up and add whatever you want. Salsa, cilantro, onions, uh, guacamole, or... Just avocado. Yeah. And it's good as fuck, though. Like, yeah, really go ahead. It's like so the, the same thing, thing every time, but it's always fucking amazing. It's always great. Uh-huh. And it was, it's just big, and I fucked up that day. <laughs> <laughs> it's really big. Uh, uh, especially that place. It gives you two uh, two tortillas with, like, a shit ton of beans and a shit ton of That's fucking crazy. Ah, <laughs> uh, fucked up, bro. <laughs> um, I was going to say, also, I think I said it, right? But, like, synchronizadas here are not what they are in the valley. They call them the same thing, but they're, like, quesadillas. <laughs> with, like, some meat in them. And that's oh, it. yeah, and they also, like, uh, depending on places down here, at least, the, like, taqueria heredura does put cheese, but I know, like, other taquerias don't put cheese. So I guess it just varies down here, maybe? Maybe, yeah. I mean, I, I think I think cheese on on a synchronizada would be pretty good. I don't know. <laughs> no, it, it is good. Oh, that's another reason why I fucked up. I was eating the second one. And I swear to God, I put like a shit ton of the salsa verde. <laughs> and no, no, no. But this is this is what's weird. I put cilantro. I put some limon on there, and uh, avocado and everything. And yeah. I don't know why. I was eating it, and it straight up was just cheese flavor the whole second one and oh, i was so close to finishing it and there was like no salsa no nothing 
it was just cheese, and that's all I was eating, basically. Man, and man is lactose intolerant. <laughs> and I am lactose intolerant. I went home, and I remember waking up, and I felt so bloated. <laughs> like I, I have this stupid thing where I'm lazy as fuck, right? I wake up, and if I really, I just like wake up because I probably have to go to the restroom. I feel bloated, or I need to pee, or take a poop, or like you know anything. Yeah. I'll just like, oh, when I wake up, <laughs> when I actually want to like get up, I'll go to the restroom. So I woke up and I felt like it was brewing. I was bloated. I had to take a huge piss. And I was like, oh, I don't want to get up. I'll sleep it off. <laughs> 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 no, that cheese got to me that next day. <laughs> Oh fuck! Uh, trying to like think of. I'm trying to think of things outside of food that I do miss in the valley. I can't uh, think of anything. I'll tell, I'll tell you one thing, because uh, Kaboom is now selling uh, anime fiesta tickets over here, like the con. Okay, yeah. What do you feel about that? Have you ever gone to anime fiesta? No, I I, I don't know. Is that a new thing? Because I've never heard of that. Um, I think it is after you left. Oh, uh, well, the, how the fuck would I have <laughs> never been? I, I, thought, I thought it was a thing for like ever, but after you said that, I had to think about it. I was like, oh no, they did do it. Yeah, no, I, I, uh, I guess it wasn't around when I was there, so no. Um, I think, I think Bryce, of course, out of everyone, Bryce, Bryce Papenbrook, of course. Uh, I'm so tired of him. I, I, I was about to say, I was like, he's another guy that, like, I'm just, I'm I'm so tired of. I just, I don't understand, like, the hype with him. Yeah, I know. He's usually always down here, though, for some reason. Like, we have any sort of, like, con, and if they can get, like, a sort of, like, a big name voice actor for anime-based or anything. It's Bryce. <laughs> Bryce is down here. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Get out of here. <laughs> I don't want you here, okay? <laughs> Yuri Lowenthal in the Valley when? Uh, I think he came soon. I think, I yeah, think. he did. He came soon? <laughs> he, he did. He came soon. <laughs> came. All right. Um... Recently. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, I know, I know, uh, I don't, I think it was a couple years ago. Fucking Colleen Clinkenbeard. She was here. Who? <laughs> the the voice actor dub for Luffy. Ugh. I oh, I see. You hate it. Yeah, she was here and I was like so unenthused. <laughs> There's something about voice actors, specifically like anime dub voice actors down here that I just I Ugh, fuck, I could give less of a shit about. Yuri, does Yuri not fall in that? I guess not. I mean, he's not only a no, he's uh, not dub. Only anime dub. Yeah, so that that's like... what you, <laughs> that's where you draw the line if they're only dubbed. Yes, yes, very. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess you could count Bryce also. Yeah, I was gonna say Bryce. His voice fucking annoying, dude. <laughs> <laughs> His voice sucks. I hate it. I hate having to hear him everywhere. Oh my god. Just he's everywhere. Let alone down here just talking in a panel. Just regularly. <laughs> I'm not gonna pay for that. Yuri I mean if anything, if anything, okay? Uh-huh. Ben ten. Fuck. <laughs> That's uh, the only thing I'll accept. That like doesn't cross that that threshold. Not even Spider Man. No, because it's just that one sounds like well, at least this one, this game. Uh, yeah. uh symbiote legit is just Sasuke. Sasuke, yeah. All right, that's fair. <laughs> so he, so he he gets the one. He gets he has the pass because he did. Yeah. Ben, he's he's in Ben Ten. It's so weird. People people are saying that. So remember when we saw the trailer with like Max and everyone. Yeah, 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 and we were like, "Oh, that's straight up just Sasuke," right? 
Um, no one else, at least from what I've seen and like Twitter and stuff like that, no one's seen it or heard it like that. Yeah. Say it's someone else. I forget what, but everyone had the general consensus of it sounded like this one other character that he did. Not Sasuke, though. <laughs> what the fuck? No, it literally is. <laughs> It was like straight up Taka and Sasuke, <laughs> but I think it was like Devil May Cry character. He, he was a Devil May Cry character. No, then I was like, was no, he movie. wasn't. I was like, no, the fuck, he wasn't. And I'm just like, uh, <laughs> how do people like not hear it? What the? Fuck? I mean, they're still comparing it to a different character, I guess, but yeah. I don't know. I just think it's weird that nobody's. Uh, uh, there's a couple people that I saw that did say it was like it was just Sasuke, right? And I think one of them was uh, Godzilla Mendoza. Really? Yeah, I think he said it. And I was like, okay, at least this person agrees with me. <laughs> what what's Colleen Clinkenbeard also do? I only know her from Luffy, and I hate it so much. <laughs> I don't, I don't. I have no idea. The voice sounds like it could be in any other dub project. Like honestly. Oh, that's right. She's Urza. Urza. Urza from uh, fucking... Fairy Tale. Yep. Uh, of course. <laughs> of course. Oh, that's right. She's also Riza. From Riza. Fucking... From Full Metal. I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't watch the dubs though, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> I don't want, I watch it subbed like a good little Japanese boy. <laughs> <laughs> the only dub, I, the only dub I like, I think. What? I think. Do you think? Trigun. Of course, of course. Samurai Champloo. Okay, okay. I I kind of want to say Naruto, cause I really enjoy like Jiraiya's voice actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that's it. <laughs> yeah, cause I, was, I I mean, and then on top of that, like just listening to Naruto in both, <laughs> in both is just like, it's the same fucking voice <laughs> both ways. You think so? Yes, they're very similar. <laughs> they're very <laughs> close. Like I could watch a silver dub. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't phase me. Uh, I'm like it's weird. Okay, so Dragon Ball, I can watch it dub. I don't want to watch Dragon Ball Z dubbed. What? Yeah, I I fucking hate I hate Sean <laughs> right, I don't know, like him. Enough. I don't like his Goku. I'm sorry, Chris Chris oh, Sabat. Wow. Great. Everyone else pretty good like i'm fine with them it's just sean i don't know what it is about him but it just drives me up the wall listening to him <laughs> give me give me back uh <laughs> you son of the shepherd <laughs> no yes give me back that that voice fuck what uh um what the fuck is his name fuck i'm i'm blanking out Yeah, but it's crazy, like, the, at least the valley can, like, get people like that down here. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Like, 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 I still, I still get baffled that Ron Perlman, <laughs> young Carla was here. <laughs> and, like, they also got fucking, like, Mick Foley. I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, but it's just, like, this, this is the valley. This is McAllen. If any place was, like, for people to come down here. I guess it would be McAllen, the most gentrified city of the valley. Uh-huh. <laughs> when, Vincent uh... Vincent Martello was here. <laughs> <laughs> when, Phineas uh... Ferb. Yeah. Phineas, he was here. Apparently. Also, uh, Greg Capullo was here. He's an artist for, like, DC and stuff. Okay, yeah, yeah. Like, fun. And, uh, I think he, he bailed, like, last second. He had like a thing to do. Where he got Mi sick or something. He's, like, no, he's a little. The only reason I wanted to go. He's a little Mr. Johnny Youngbosh. <laughs> yes, sir. Fuck you. 
Yeah. I like I like how we were talking about that while watching The Walking Dead at a fucking laundromat <laughs> in the middle of the night. Yeah, I think I think Johnny like bailed. I want to say twice already. Really? Down here for like one of the conventions and like one of the stores. Yeah, I think it was the uh, I think it was the Flux. Yeah, I mean, it was the Flux. And then uh, for one of these uh, these cons down here he was coming and then he bailed also jesus christ bro. he's a racist bro <laughs> I yeah. just know deep down, he hates like hispanics and mexicans <laughs> don't take don't take my word <laughs> but <laughs> but, just, just but he plays he plays a main character who fights hispanic based uh you know beings i guess the espadas okay that's what i'm going that's what i'm getting at that's what i'm getting yeah, at all right you know what maybe he took a little too much into that role <laughs> he's a he's a little bit of a method actor <laughs> he comes let's see let's see who's coming down here this september this september uh, he I don't, sees. I, don't, I, don't I, don't I was gonna. Book. I was gonna add to the joke where I'm just like he sees a slightly tanner like Hispanic guy, and he's just like Chad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna read the list of, of these people who are coming. This guest list. Okay. Uh, you want you want you want to try to guess who's gonna bail? <laughs> yes, I would love to. Okay. First up on the list, he's here like all the time. Also, Christopher Sab. Sab- of course, <laughs> of course, he's always there. Always yeah, no, he is not here. bailing. He is not bailing. Uh, and who else other than Christopher, who's like always with him, than Sean Shemmel? <laughs> Wait, what? Really? Yeah, Sean's coming again. I think this is the second time or third, maybe. I th- yeah, I, I, it hasn't been that often, but yeah, okay. Uh, he, I, I, I don't think he, I don't. Milk. Uh, no, Sean, Sean's a money guy. Yeah, he yeah. Guy. He he really he really likes to be the guy, you know. So I don't think so. I don't think he'll be. I uh, think that's another thing that bothers course, me about him. I already said Bryce. Yeah, no, nah, I think he'll go. Uh, Yuri's coming, of course. Probably show up. Probably be there. <laughs> oh, oh, gee whiz! Would you look at that? It's Johnny. <laughs> Johnny. Johnny Young Boss is coming. Will he bail again? The fuck. I wa- will I, I'll, 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 wa- I'll wait to see who else. Uh, <laughs> but I'm like, I'm like pinning he? it. I'm pinning it on heel bail. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Colin's also coming, dude. Oh my god. We were just talking about her. Yeah. No, uh, go away. <laughs> for sure. It should, it should, she'll show up for sure. Uh, Justin Briner, of course, is coming also. Who's it's always that? Justin, Bryce, and Justin Briner are always like the two main. He's the, he's the dub for Deku. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, Justin and Bryce are like my most go away. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I swear to God, Clifford Chapin. I don't really know him, but he's a dub for uh, Bakugo. Uh, weird. Okay. David Matranga. He's the dub for uh, Todoroki. I'm uh, assu- I'm gonna guess that all the My Hero guys are gonna show up. Uh, David Lodge is coming actually, which is super dope. Who that? Uh, the voice actor for Jiraiya. and Kenpachi, and you know. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. That's cool. That um, is cool. Did David Lodge ever come out come here? I don't not nah, mm, yeah. Is it cool. maybe they might have. I feel like I feel like I saw somewhere like like the you know how like they have the uh actors and they put their uh characters, respective characters around them or whatever. Like yeah, I think I saw once but I don't know if that was over there or here. So I, I couldn't <laughs> I, I'm not a reliable narrator here. I don't know. I don't know where he's shown up. He's shown up every. Uh, he's shown up places. <laughs> he looks like Seth Rogen, <laughs> like like a 
kind of watered down Seth Rogen. So Seth Rogen, if he didn't do drugs, <laughs> if he didn't smoke weed, uh, or like like a like a brother <laughs> of Seth Rogen. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Priscina V, um, I'm blanking out. I cannot name these characters. Miraculous Slayer, Ladybug, though. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Uh, Trina Nishimura. She does uh that girl <laughs> uh my house from uh AOT. I'm blanking out so hard. Mikasa, there you go. Um yeah. My house <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why the fu- I don't know why the fuck that didn't like give it away. <laughs> and then you said AOT right after it and I was like My house AOT. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Leah Clark, she does a uh, that witch with the purple hair from uh from Soul the, Eater. Uh, oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Olga from My Hero. M H A. Natalie Van Sistine, she does your Yoru. Is that her name from Spy X Family? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't watch. I don't know. <laughs> Christine McGuire's coming down here. I couldn't name any of these characters. <laughs> Emily Nevis. I couldn't name any of these characters. Or I guess you could say Bardock's wife or girlfriend. Oh, e- uh, Guinea. Yeah, the dub for her. Alex uh, Alexis Tipton, which is really interesting because I I actually know her. She does the the dub for that gear chick in M H A. She okay. does uh, Rosario. And vampire. Oh shit! Lego. Uh, she's the dub for Trunks and Fukuro, I think, from uh, One Piece. One of the CP9 agents, but she does that voice that's like Japa, Japa, the laugh or whatever. Okay, so that's cool. I didn't know that one. And an appearance is already canceled. Megan Shipman. She does <laughs> Tanya, I guess. She bailed. <laughs> she bailed. Fuck! I was wrong. Nah, nah, nah. There's still time. There's still time. Yuri can still bail. I can still win. <laughs> <laughs> There's, there, this is actually. Oh, sorry, like sorry. Not better. Yuri. I was. <laughs> I fucked up. Not Yuri. Um. Johnny. Johnny. Johnny Youngbaz. Yeah. Johnny can still bail. And the Johnny. Johnny. Has a pretty good list of like dub. Oh yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, he's been in a lot of shit. Like like Ichigo, uh, I forgot his name. It starts with a Z, I think, from uh, Black Clover. He's like the trap guy. I, I I like him. He's cool. Uh, he does Akira. He does Vash. He does uh, or he replaced uh, Vic Mignogna. Mignona. Mignona, because he's putting his Mignogna. nuts on people's heads. <laughs> Apparently, yeah. But now he's doing Broly, and then he is a Power Ranger, dude. He is. What a crazy, what a crazy line. And he's Nero. And he's Nero. He does a lot. Like, he's he's goaded. But for some reason, he's not as popular as, like, Chris or Sean. I think, uh, because well, they're fucking Dragon Ball. And, like, Yuri is, like. Bryce. <laughs> but Bryce, like, out of all uh, people. Bro, I, I got, you got to, I think, I think his popularity came from sort of online. <laughs> I think You're that's right. what it that's You're what it right. was. That 2012 era 20, or yeah. like, you know, that it was, was his time, dude. That really was. 2012 to 2015, 2014, you know, it was it was just back to back to back just fucking Bryce everywhere. Sean looks like such a dickhead, dude. Yeah, I guess uh, is a <laughs> mug shot. <laughs> what am I what am I saying? What are, what have I been saying? He looks like a dickhead and he acts like one too. <laughs> Dude, it's crazy. Look at Chris. Look at Chris. He does All Might. He does Vegeta. He does Zoro and Piccolo. He's so cool. He's so cool, dude. He He's loves so cool. to share the the spotlight with with like other other Vegeta voice actors or whatever. He loves that. Sean doesn't. Sean hates that shit. It's like I'm Goku. Okay? I am Goku. I'm Goku. I won't do anything else. I'm Lucario and Smash, and that's it. But I'm I don't care about that. I'm Goku. I mean, he's also King Kai, right? It doesn't matter. He's Goku. <laughs> he's Goku. 
Dude, what 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 the fuck? How does the valley like? How does McAllen get these people? I want to know what it. What, uh, how it goes. they the the <laughs> the city pays up the wazoo. <laughs> the city is like, hey, I need these people. We have losers living in our city. We need traction. We need traction in our small town. I mean, good on them for getting these uh, stacked casts. This stacked lineup. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, honestly. I mean, I think they're just going to get bigger from here because, like, like with Comic-Con, like, fucking hell, dude. Yeah. That was unexpected when they got everyone there. That was crazy. The Valley ain't nothing to scoff at. It's not. But it it really is. At least to me. <laughs> um, I can say it. I live yeah, here. I live here. <laughs> I live I here. I can it. say that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I not that I hate it, but I don't I don't love it now. <laughs> like going down, I'm just like, fuck it. it it's so Damn humid. It. It's so fucking humid. The mosquitoes are big as Fuck. <laughs> I was telling, I was telling uh, Zach because he was like, "Man, the the hurricane, whatever, didn't even hit or anything." <laughs> like, why is he disappointed? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, but I was telling him, like everything's bigger in Texas, except for like natural disasters. <laughs> and even then, I say Texas, and I mean the valley. <laughs> Like it never hits over here, dude. It'll hit like San Antonio, Austin. It'll hit over there in El Paso. But like the valley just doesn't get shit. <laughs> it did not hit over here. You full of shit. <laughs> no, no, you're right. It barely hits you guys. It's always like the center, and kind of like Rio area. Yeah. Other than that, it never hits us. So stupid. I hate it. You just you want a natural disaster. Yes, where the tornadoes at? Why don't they farm over here? Cowards. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know, man. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> um, and I had some other. Uh, well, because like I'm the only last thing I can think of that we had was Mortal Kombat, but I don't want to get back to that right now. I know that we, I think we had one more thing or two more things before. The Zafina Tekken storyline. Right. Okay. But that might take a Not really. She's only got two uh, games. Uh, she's new. She's new. She ain't got yeah. shit. Well, basically... Because I'm going to have to go through it, right? Because I'm yeah. the one who knows. I'm so, <laughs> okay, so Zafina. Okay, this is what I gathered from, like, the cutscenes and all that. She's coming back for sure, right? I believe so. It looks like she is. Uh, So she opened up the gates or whatever, the tomb that had Azazel in it. And, um... I guess she went to go look for help. I really don't know. <laughs> and she's like part of this, or I guess that's like retcon in a little bit, maybe. But like she's part of this group that like specializes in fighting, like stuff like that. But for some reason, she couldn't fight Azazel. <laughs> <laughs> um, so she, uh, I guess, looks for for Jin. Right, and Jin's over there doing World War Three so that he can get all the world's hate or all the negative feelings so that he can awaken Azazel and stop him. Which, yeah. like, if Azazel was already sleeping, why do you gotta wake him up? Just go and kill him. Like, you're stupid. But, uh, yeah. So that's the. I guess that was the only way to do it, right? So, from my understanding, Jin goes with Zafina. He ends up fighting Azazel. Kills Azazel. Right. Uh, has to fight with someone outside of a crumbling thing. I, I don't remember who he's fighting. It might be Lars. It might be somebody else. I don't really remember. I Because I, you have to go through the whole scenario mode to actually get to like Jin's story. Which is kind oh, of... Eh. So, you know, it's like, okay, cool. 
Uh, and then Zafina disappears, I think. <laughs> it's kind of unclear what happened to her. Uh, misses out. Well, Tekken Tag 2 happens. That's not canon. That doesn't matter. She just disappears and then comes back with that arm. That that arm's never really explained. Oh, really? Yeah. It's only in 7? Yeah, it's only in 7 that she has the arm. She did not have the arm originally. She came out in what, 6, right? In 6, yeah. That's weird. 6, 7, and tag. And yep. then in 7, she just has that arm. That's, yeah. that's stupid. That's weird. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's like it came out of nowhere. I was, I was saying, I was saying, I was like, it came out of nowhere. There was like nothing for that but it's cool it's a cool design yeah, but like cool. but like it, it cool, like fight style also i don't know if she had the same fight style oh yeah, yeah well not with the not like okay so she still had the stances like the crow yeah, yeah. or sorry yeah. the scarecrow the spider and scorpion i think or whatever the hell the the fucking weird one is where she has her leg over her i'm pretty sure that's scorpion um so she still had those that style those stances but um like the arm was not part of it <laughs> the uh, none of the things that the arm can do she could not do that before huh and that's and she so so she's kind of like a main character because like she went to Jin. she she found azazel she has the arm, so that has to do something. So she'll probably come back, right? I I guess so. Like I mean, I I just I guess so because okay, the thing the thing about like uh Tekken and like DLC and you know stuff like that is that a lot of it I feel like does have purpose. It's not like it's not like fucking um Mortal Kombat where they just redesign a character just because they can. Yeah. You know, they redesigned her probably with a purpose or probably purpose, for, for, for sure. a reason. So, um, yeah, I think I think she she's important and I think she will come back like that also. Like she won't just change. So, yeah, but that, I don't know. That story was like it, it really unless she fell into the thing with Azazel. I don't remember. I it's been a while. I haven't played the scenario it's been mode. A while, <laughs> but I guess I'll play her story mode. <laughs> um but yeah, I don't remember if she like she fell into the temple or what with Azazel and then like maybe uh like as Azazel was dying he possessed her or you know like got to her arm or something, right? I don't exactly know what happened. But that arm thing did come out of nowhere because a lot of people were like, oh, that's crazy. She's got the arm now. That what? <laughs> always taking the right arms. Japanese devs are always taking the right arms of their characters. <laughs> it's always the arms, I swear. Yeah. But I guess we'll have to see in the next game. Yeah, yeah. And I I, I, I will go on my last. Hey, huh? It's almost eight. For you. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was going to say, I I'm going to go on my last thing in Mortal Kombat for a while, unless they do something else stupid, but I I got one they thing. Huh? They, they probably will. Mostly. They probably Yeah, okay. So they keep saying Motaro is hard to animate or hard to do stuff for. I don't believe it. Because I can think of like a like I in off the top of my head in the car when I was like listening to the fucking thing I was like I could think of a couple moves from Motaro like to do and it would be fine like it wouldn't even be that hard I guess just do a back three 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 right and have him do like or just a back three three right and have him do like a donkey kick like two donkey kicks a mid and then like a launcher yeah right. And boom, right? Like that's kind of that's that's one move, right? Another move I was thinking like uh, a mid, like he does like a fucking a down punch, right? And that's a mid, so it's not an overhead; it's a mid or whatever. You can block it, right? And then like a knee, or or you can make the down punch an overhead or whatever. And then like the f the front 
part of him c- can do a knee after that like a, a fucking uh we'll just say like a back two back two three or back two four they probably back two three um you know it's like a down punch and then like the front knee goes up and that's like a it's either a block string or like you know you can catch him with the overhead i guess something like you could do a lot josh got all these ideas <laughs> <laughs> you could do a lot right um and i was also thinking like maybe um you give him like a one two or a one one right and it's just like a uh you know he he punches regularly and maybe like just to sell it or like to set up because if you're worried because i also thought about this right if you're worried about like the length of his body and like how it's not gonna add up to like the distance you know for yeah like or like you know he's gonna start clipping or something then fucking bake in the animations like dog like just do like a you know he does like two haymakers and with the second haymaker it causes them to like flail back a little bit and then boom uh it's like it's like a one two or a two two whatever uh into a three or four and he does a tail sweep at the end you know or or something like that a special move you if no character has a ground pound yet give him the ground pound just have him like raise up his his front legs and just stomp down that's a ground pound it's like it's it's i don't understand i don't buy that shit i really don't buy that shit that oh he's too hard to animate I don't, I don't know. I don't, I mean, I don't know how to animate for shit, right? I don't know how to deal with 3D models. I don't know any of that. But, like, you tell, you're telling me that it's too hard to work with. But I don't think so. I really don't. Considering that all of your shit isn't even, like, physics-based or it's, it's all just pre can animations that look like shit anyway. Why, why is that stopping you? Why is the animation stopping you? Why is it, like, hard to animate? Like... Everything else looks like shit. <laughs> like, what's the problem? <laughs> like, uh, like fucking what's her face in Dell's hair. Yes, in Dell's hair. Yeah. And guess who? Guess who's with her in the the thing? <laughs> Motaro. Motaro. I don't know. Like, I, I, at least I, I would say at least they're trying with him. Finally. Fair. In this game. I mean, he is just a cameo, but it's something. Fair. I like how he also said they asked him, "Is like, oh, well, how do you determine who's a cameo and who's a character and who's both?" And he just said, "Oh, well, the cameos are mainly just there because, uh, like, they don't they don't have any part in the story. They're just there, like, as a nod to stuff." And I'm like, "That's what I've been saying the whole time." And everybody was trying to make it like, "Oh no, these characters are part of the story. Or these characters are chosen specific." I'm like, "No, that they they fucking weren't." They're just chosen for fan service and just like, like, hey, you know what we haven't touched in a while or even mentioned or cared about? The 3D era. Yeah. I guess let's throw in Darius. <laughs> let's throw in Darius. He's not part of it, even though Havoc is. So then, uh, what's his nuts? Uh, not Suhao. What the fuck? Hotaru should be Suhao. in the game. No fucking way, dude. <laughs> Uh, give me a Suhao cameo. You won't, you cowards. Uh, they'll, give it to, they'll give it to uh They'll give a skin of Suhao to like who? Who would they? Kano's not a character. He's a cameo. He's right? not, yeah, he's a cameo. Nah, Suhao, you're done for. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no I'm sorry. Anything. Nobody, nobody cares about you. I'm sorry. <laughs> What if they do mocap, but they give it to like Johnny Cage, like a like skin? a skin? Uh, that'd be cool. I think that'd be fine. That would be cool. That would that would be the like, what's we got like? That's such a no brainer. You know what I mean? Like that's such like like a. Like he's the actor. Yeah. He would do some mocap work, maybe. Uh, like, it's crazy that they haven't done that before, at all. If they wanted to not acknowledge that era. <laughs> throw in Darius. <laughs> throw in Darius. Where's me? Where's the meat? Uh, the meat cameo. Easy. You, yeah, if you don't want to fucking put in meat in the game, just put him in as a cameo. Give us the yeah. silly characters, goddamn it. <laughs> he's, a, he's a. What is he again? A failed experiment. Uh, I guess basically, I think he he does come from Shang Tsung's flesh pits. Uh, loser. 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 Yeah, where's Mavado? Where's Mavado, huh? Cowards. 
Isn't he supposed to be supposedly a... I, I don't like that I said that like that. Um, Isn't he supposed to be a cameo? Like, isn't that uh, wasn't that one of the leaks? Hopefully. I, I think that's weird. I, like, I want his bungee cords. I don't <laughs> want to think about this man's bungee cords. <laughs> Too bad. You're going to have to. Fucking bitch ass stole... Uh, well, you, I just said it. Cabal. He sold Cabal's Cabal. hook swords. Um, it, it is weird because like in the in the story, like Darius is in the background and stuff, right? But they're not gonna they're just gonna have him as a cameo. Is he in the background? They're not. Uh, yeah, he was in the background of like one of the cutscenes, I think. I don't know. Uh, I guess. I guess he's yeah, he's just gonna be there, he's gonna be in the background, and they're in not the gonna background. acknowledge him. Yeah. And for Havoc, I mean like Chaos Realm is a thing, so he would have to play a part, you know. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm assuming. Okay, assuming what Ed Boon said. What is it? What did he say this time? God he damn it. said that, like, the playable character, uh, or he didn't actually say. I'm inferring this. I am implying this. Sorry. Okay, not to put words in his mouth, but. What I understood was cameos are not going to be part of the story and they're just there because they're not part of the story, but they still wanted to pay a nod to those characters or like nod to that era. Yeah. And stuff like that. Okay, fine. That to me says then, and this is kind of usually the case, right? That any character that's in the roster, like actual playable characters are going to have a chapter and they're going to have their own thing in the story. Yeah, you could. Yeah, you could totally infer that then. And also, I like how they asked him, like, oh, um, you know, the story modes, like, you know, how do you do that or whatever, like, uh, kind of just kind of asking him, like, a basic question. And he goes, yeah, well, uh, we've been doing it since uh, Mortal Kombat vs. DC. A lot of people think we've did- started at MK9, but it started all the way back in MK vs. DC. And I'm like, fucking right. <laughs> You're fucking right. Pay some, pay some acknowledgement to MK vs. DC. It did start the story mode. Like, format. It's not great. <laughs> it's kind of rough, but it started it. Huh. And I, now, that you, now that you say that also, uh, Darius is going to be like a, a cameo. But he is, like, I, I'm pretty sure I saw him in the, in the background. Because he's from, uh, what realm is he from? I believe he's from Sendo. Or the Order Realm? Because uh, that was his whole thing. Was that he was in the Order Realm. And, uh, Hota, you know, he was like, down with the system. You know, fuck you. Uh, this, not everything can be Order. It's all about Darius right now, dude. <laughs> it's like, it's not about, or sorry, not everything can be Order all the time or whatever. Y'all are too fascist. Y'all are too, like, strict or whatever. I may have used fascist wrong, but y'all are too strict. I am Darius. I look forward to resisting arrest. <laughs> cool. No. <laughs> no. That's what he says. That is one of his lines. <laughs> what the fuck? So he's from so he's from Order Realm then. Yeah. And he doesn't want order. <laughs> no. <laughs> or like he thinks they're too strict not necessarily that he doesn't want order but he thinks like he could do a better job or whatever the fuck because they, they're they're too strict on on anything like that was the thing about uh dairo also that's why he also joined uh darius i think uh was that uh dairo was a uh, uh, you know part of the fucking military or whatever there right keeping order and at some point he lost his shit and he killed somebody right god damn <laughs> right he he like he went too far or whatever and then but like i think he saved people but because he killed that person everybody else in like the the military or whatever was like no nope, no nope, you're not you know you went too far you were supposed to keep order you went too far <laughs> into jail you go for life <laughs> Something like that. I could have a detail or two wrong, think, uh, but it's... sorry, sorry. But you think uh, if that's the case, 
And if Darius, if, like, again, in my memory, from what I remember seeing, Darius is there, and Havoc is a, like, playable character. So, even if he's not a cameo or a character at all, you think, like, somewhere along the line, they'll, they'll like, throw in, like, a Hotaru. Not even, like, as, like, a character, like, in a cutscene. They'll probably, like, just name drop him or something. I feel like they might name drop him. Yeah, I don't see why not. Just a name drop, because might as well at this point. And if that happens, I hope he does get a... a I look at me hoping for DLC in a game that I don't even know if I'm going to play or buy. But, um, yeah, if if he does get mentioned, I hope that he does become DLC or something. And he gets a... He, he does not get a fucking cool redesign like everyone else. <laughs> you wanted to stick I'm being, to that. I'm being... Yeah, I'm being, sarc- I'm being a little sarcastic. You know, I like his armor. I like his, his whole... I like the whole armor. I don't like the, the armor with just the, the head. Right out, right. I like with the whole helmet. Uh, yeah, okay. I thought the armor was a cool look. I like the the black, the yellow, and the the light or the little touches of um, uh, what is it, teal or light blue, like that that uh-huh. sky blue. I love that. I love those combinations of colors. Uh, the flags were a bit much in my opinion, but like I'll keep. I'll I'm fine. Keep the flags. Make them part of his move set. You won't. They won't. They won't. Yeah, they probably won't. Motaro should be a character, though. <laughs> Motaro? Motaro should have been a character. I'm, I, I'm telling you, I don't, I don't buy it. I don't believe them. <laughs> I think uh, they know they can do it, or, or like they have an inkling that they could do it. They just don't. I think that's, I think that's, that's my take on it. Is like, I think maybe it is a little hard, a little bit more difficult than the standard character, but it's not like it's not impossible. I don't think it, I think it'd be fucking worth it. I think everybody would lose their shit and actually, you know. What the hell, Joker's in the <laughs> Joker's a uh, ending. He's there with Havoc. Sue House there. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> and he rips is off fucking Kitana? Havoc's arm. Yeah, <laughs> is, that, is that Kitana killing <laughs> Hotaru? I I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? This is weird. Why? Cause See, they care about him if he was in the last game, kind of. I mean... Fucking Mortal Kombat, dude. Fucking Mortal Kombat. So much. But yet they do nothing at the same time. <laughs> Just no, cause... they do more. They do more than nothing, bro. They can't it's times, times and stuff. Like it does feel like uh, they're just being a little lazy. Yeah, or like they fall back on shit a lot. That was not Katana. Yeah. That was Melina, sir. My bad. My bad. Okay. Okay. My bad. My bad. Ah! <laughs> my bad. Katana would never, okay? Katana could never. Man, fucking Mortal Kombat, bro. What do you mean you're gonna have Joker in your last game and Peacemaker in this one? They love... They love comic books. I can't wait to... Fatality John Cena. I swear to God, that's gonna be so fun. I fucking hate that um, a lot of the comments... Because there's an IGN thing i think um where they interviewed at boon it's the same thing i was i was bringing up right um they talk about homelander and uh omni man not really <laughs> but they do uh they ask he asks him he's like yeah so these two are just like evil superman right like how how are they gonna differ they're very similar in like IGN uh, said that? yeah i believe i believe they said that i hey, swear to god dude IGN needs to like pack it up. <laughs> <laughs> and like, how are you gonna make them play different, right? And then Ed Boon just goes, Well, um, you know, we're big fans of the shows, so uh we have uh like all the uh, we take into it the account stuff that they've done in their shows, and that's how we're gonna make them play different. So like it was such a like nothing answer also. <laughs> Like it's it's a it's a nothing answer for a nothing question. Fair, fair. That's true. That's fair. 
right i'll give you that i'll give ed boon that but it also it's like but they were i mean you could have just said well you know fucking uh easily right and this is what i always say when people say that omni man and homeland are the same i'm like omni man doesn't have heat vision you know and and, and omni man knows how to fucking fight (laughs) yeah he's an actual warrior homelanders homelanders a bitch (laughs) in his in his verse he's like the strongest which isn't saying much yeah it's just you know i don't know it's just like whatever I mean, you say that, but then fucking Soldier Boy almost beat the shit out of him too. So exactly, exactly. He's like supposed to be the strongest, but like he doesn't. He can't. He doesn't have to work for it because he's like you know. Yeah, he's Frieza. He's Frieza. <laughs> Frieza. It's just uh. Why do people say? Why Why do people compare Superman clones? I don't know. It's like, like it's like if somebody said like oh Brightburn like oh yeah let's yeah. get Brightburn and it's like what the, wait do they not watch like the material or read anything like that come on I I, 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 I know read I know I know well. I know damn well no one reads shit yeah I know until after the shit comes out and then maybe they form a little bit more of of uh like an opinion about it right but yeah beforehand if they just see it or watch the movie or whatever the movie's not gonna do fucking do anything about it or the show's not gonna do any justification for like i mean maybe the show like like uh the boys right or or invincible like it'll do a better job of showing like what these characters can do and like how they go about doing shit or whatever but like a movie isn't really gonna do that ign why are you asking these questions who you let who you let say immediately and um and hire me i need a job <laughs> and then he was like oh so did you get and we know you have the likeness of uh anthony Starr and um uh uh john cena right and he's like yeah and then he's like well how was it working with them or whatever and he just goes um he doesn't really mention John Cena or Anthony Starr. He just mentions J.K. Simmons. He's like, oh, yeah, we had J.K. come in the in the booth, and he started doing, the, you know, his stuff. And he was so excited and everything. And I was just like, what about John Cena and, <laughs> and Anthony? <laughs> like, what do you mean? Maybe they haven't done it at the time. Maybe. Or, like, they, they're trying to, like, hide it. Maybe. I don't know. Since he, they're, like, actual live-action, like, stars. He, he did say a little bit, like, um... Like, just, like, that they were excited, or he's, like, we, and they were excited, and we were excited that they knew about the games and, like, stuff like that. And it's, like, well, it's a fucking global phenomenon. Of course they would know about the games. And, I don't know. I feel like, like, you see Anthony starting interviews and stuff. I don't know. I don't, I don't think he would be, like, excited. <laughs> he's so, he's know. so meek in, in his, in his interviews and stuff. He's yeah. so, like, <laughs> like, oh, do you want me in the game as, like, Homelander? Like, sure. Sure. Yeah, he's just uh, not meek. I maybe think, Ma- meek was the wrong term. I think just like so like reserved and just so like yeah, you know. John Cena would be like professional. Like, oh, I would love to. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. <laughs> Bing chilling. You know, been, <laughs> been, been, <laughs> Let me give you the Chinese version. <laughs> Let me give you the Chinese version. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, it's, it's so funny. <laughs> that's like a that's like a meme on like on like three different levels, right? Yeah. It's like the actual him doing that, like in the car or whatever. Him doing that on WWE, and then The Rock doing that on WWE. It's great. It's so good. <laughs> um. But yeah, uh, it was like it's such a like, kind of nothing. Like again, it's IGN. I don't know. Like, yeah. <laughs> but like a lot of the questions are just kind of like, oh yeah, whatever. Like the the only question I guess that like kind of got something and was actually a something question was like, oh well, how do you decide on who's a cameo and who's a regular yeah. character? So like, like, like that said. was a that was an actual at question. That was an actual question. Like, he probably pondered that and he knew people were gonna ask. Yeah. I was like, oh, well, I already know my answer. But uh, the whole thing about the the DLC and and whatever it was just kind of like, I, I guess like I don't know. It's it's an answer. It's not it's not like what we thought. And then like people 
in the comments were like, oh, I can't wait for Omni Man to say like I'm gonna meet ma- I'm gonna make you eat your heart or whatever. And I'm like, I don't think he ever said that in the show, and I don't know if he's ever said that in the comics. He only ever said that in the fucking death battle. <laughs> he only ever said that in the death I, I, battle. I'm gonna search that up. I'm gonna search that up. As far as I know, he could have maybe said it in the comics, maybe. But he's like, I'm gonna make you eat your own heart. And um and just people were just talking about the death battle and they were like, Oh yeah, if we could do the thing from the death battle, I was like, Why the fuck? What? <laughs> that's weird. That's that's Death Battle shouldn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> no, so far it looks like all the all the art and everything from like just like the the thumbnails and everything it's straight up just from death battle <laughs> yeah it's just a death battle thing so that's why i'm like why the fuck are these people like oh we can't wait for him to do that i'm like he's never done that as far as i know these people don't know shit and it's like oh yeah no it's because of the death battle and i'm just like what the fuck y'all are crazy bro you're damn right is that right? They're crazy. Oh, hey, quick question. Uh huh. I was gonna, I was gonna ask you this because I was thinking about it yesterday, and I was talking to Zach about it because um, we were just talking about we were playing Fortnite. <laughs> I was finishing up my, I was finishing up my my pass and everything. Uh huh. And then Alex, like I said, uh, Alex got me Becky Lynch. Yeah, yeah. And Zach yeah, yeah. wanted John Cena, and I was thinking about it. That I think that's like all they have. I'm, I'm gonna search it up real quick, but I think that's all they have for like Fortnite skins. Uh-huh. Um, I... let's see. Yeah, no, it's legit. I think just them three John Cena, Bianca Belair, and Becky Lynch. And I know you don't play, but if you did want to see uh, a wrestler, like let's say they did another like WWE series. Uh-huh. Uh, what what characters or what wrestlers would you want to see? That even a question, bro? <laughs> and no, because here I put it into like categories. I I honestly told uh, Zach I don't think they would do anything 2000, 2010 ish. You know? Okay. Yeah. They would probably do like wrestlers from like now. Now like, they probably do L.A. Knight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and they would probably do like older, like iconic. Yeah. yeah. No, then I was going to say like an iconic one. I wasn't going to say anything current. Yeah. Uh, was... For the iconic, uh, I said probably, probably uh, The Rock, Brahma Bull, like in the, in the 90s. Yeah. Uh, Stone Cold and <clears throat> maybe, maybe the last one was hard, but I, I would stick with Undertaker. Ah, you bitch. <laughs> No, bro. Fuck no. no. Wait. Okay, bro. Then, then, you I, say, then you say. Then you say. I was gonna say the senator himself or the fucking the the fucking politician himself, Kane, bro. Come on. Damn. The big red machine. Damn. Yeah. Glenn <laughs> Jacobs would approve. No. <laughs> Fine. Uh, him being senator still now. And he still gets shit on for uh, fucking wrestling, let alone get a skin. He'd probably be like honored, but I don't think he'd be like. Oh. Okay, that's right. Okay, fine. But that uh, that aside, that cool. that his feelings cool. aside, I think it'd be his great. Aside, it would work. It would be. So and good. you don't have to have his face. You could do the mask. Yeah, that's you know? true. That's true. So I would. I would. He think did that's have cool. his mask. Yeah. Good angle. Oh, the perk. He's, I would perk. only only if he's I off the perk. <laughs> perk. The mouth. His taunt is the mouth guard, like falling out, falling out. Oh, dude, yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, that would be dope. I would love to see like them do something like that series because they already have a stupid rock skin in Fortnite, and it's not even like the rock. It's like they just put the rock's face on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so stupid. I hate it. But yeah, they only have John Cena and two divas, which is like an odd selection. Are they still called divas? <laughs> I guess. I'm just. Have, I'm just asking. Three wrestlers, though. 
<laughs> um uh who uh, like mankind you think so mankind or or like or just mcfoley like just like you know the the either either the actual like full like mankind get up or just like the the flannel you know yeah. just mcfoley mcfoley mankind dude love cactus jack yeah just like have different variants yeah hell yeah that would be cool i yeah. could see that um what about a uh, okay fine what about uh like triple h and just just triple h just Shawn michael yeah why not that would, I th- that would be that'd be pretty I'll tell you decent. What, one thing one thing that would be cool for like those two specifically uh would be like weapon skins i would love to rock like a the heartbreak kid weapon skin <laughs> Like dazzling in like red and white, maybe. Yeah, that'd be that'd be dope. I would love that. Uh, Triple H does not have a pickaxe; it's a sledgehammer. That's exactly that'd be dope. And nice, nice. Uh, there, I was gonna terrible. say like, uh, I don't know. Maybe. 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 Edge. You gotta do Edge. It's his twenty fifth year. I guess yeah yeah why not why not do Edge? That I would love to do Edge and Christian. That would be dope. The Hardy Boys maybe. Yeah, for sure the Hardy Boys. For sure they could you could do a skins with them. Maybe the New Day. Oh hell yeah! Dude, the <laughs> yeah, the New Day would be oh, down. So awesome, dude. Um. There's so many. There's so many things that you can do. Yeah. It's, like, I was saying also for Zach for like the 2000 era, like they probably wouldn't do anything or touch anything. Like I don't think they would actually add them. Like Eddie Guerrero, they probably wouldn't do. Carlito, they, they might probably not. They do. probably wouldn't. Yeah. Like, Santino. Like that, you know? <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know. W- yeah, would you be it. interested in a CM Punk skin? <laughs> Down. Nah. No, I was a- w. Yeah, I was just I was like, eh. I was saying, um, I think I told you maybe this yesterday. I think I told you maybe this. Maybe <laughs> I think this. I said this yesterday to you. Uh huh. But since they have the Becky Lynch, they would have to add Seth Rollins. They have and, to. And if they did do Seth Rollins, then it'd be cool. It would be cool, but I don't think they would. It would be cool if they allowed them to like use the shield, but the Dean, the Ambrose, the Dean, the Ambrose, he's in AEW, so I don't think it would work. And he's smoking the booth. And he's smoking the booth. <laughs> I swear to God, I, I, I like that showed up on my Twitter like too many times. It's just <laughs> like, uh, he's walking, grabs the fucking the blunt, just it passes it back, walks away. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Why? I mean, good for him. I don't know. <laughs> good. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. He's like, he's looking like way bigger than he, he was in WWE yeah, ever, right? Sure. Yeah, no, like Dean Ambrose in WWE. He was, he was that crazy maniac. John Moxley in AEW looks, looks way more intimidating. Right, yeah. <laughs> just like holy shit dude you gotta love it bro gotta love the gotta love it the term call it yeah the... they wouldn't do like Seamus they might I, I you don't think so Sheamus. I could see Seamus I could see Seamus I don't see MVP fuck you yeah, <laughs> fuck fuck Morrison. fuck everyone for forgetting about MVP in general <laughs> I know right Sheldon Benjamin would be cool but but also like super he, like specific He's one of the OGs. He's he's the one who was like there with uh with Batista, with Randy. Yeah. Lesnar, yeah. Like John. And he was like he was there with them in OVW, but he's the forgotten one for some reason. For whatever reason. I don't know. Like he, he had he some was athletic. He was cool. Yeah. He did the best shit ever, dude. Took the best sh- sweet chin music ever. Ever, bro. CM Punk, maybe. I could see a big show? I could see Big Show. I I guess so. I guess why not? Yeah, sure. Fuck it. We c- I could see Big Show. 
Of course, Jeff Hardy would be dope. Uh, what about Brock Lesnar? I, if they did Brock Lesnar, they would probably do like the Beast Incarnate with like the UFC shorts. Probably, yeah. Rey Mysterio. Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> Iconic. Eddie Guerrero. I don't see it. I would I like it. I, that would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> I mean, no. like, as a talent, phenomenal. As a person, piece of shit. Piece of shit. Booker uh, T. What about Booker? Uh, King Booker. King Booker. Yeah, no, it would have to be King Booker. It would have to be. Same thing of like I Baron Corbin. Ah, ah. <laughs> I don't see RVD, bro. I don't see them doing a skin. I'm sorry. I don't either. It's weird how, like, obscure he's fallen also. He's in AEW now, right? Well, yeah, he is. But it's funny. I was, like, watching it, right? And, like, they were comparing it to, like, his WWE shit. I hate that so much. And then... They're old, bro. Yeah, They're and I'm, old. I'm like, dude, this, uh, like, stop. It's not fair. Oh, that's beach. It's Jesus not Christ. fair. But, like, seeing the Rolling Thunder. Oh, dude, that was hard to watch. Like the him doing it now, it still holds up. It's not like a CM Punk coming back and just like botching everything. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> I was I, I was at a I was at a Pizza Hut. <laughs> I was at a Pizza Hut. Uh, I think I was like picking up an order, right? And uh, they they have AEW playing and CM Punk's doing his shit, and he tries to do a GTS and it's really bad. <laughs> he oh, tried yeah. to do something off the turnbuckle. It's super bad. Like, this is just botching left and right. I'm like, what the fuck? Real? Oh, my God. This looks bad. Like, what the fuck? Quit, bro. <laughs> Get out. Yeah, dude. You can retire. You're good. What about Batista? He's already... What do you mean? Isn't, isn't Drex already in? <laughs> that is... Yeah. <laughs> oh, my. No. Uh... Yeah, why not? Why not? Get, but like, give us like evolution, Batista, with the with the suit and the glasses. You know. The... Oh, that would be cool. I, <laughs> I, th- I think that'd be cool. Uh, if since they have John Cena, they could do like it. They could do it for the meme. They could add Randy Orton in there. <laughs> Wait, what's the like, meme? Out of nowhere. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, why not? Yeah, I could see that. I could see that. Yeah, no, Chris Jericho, no. Yeah, I, yeah, like I, I was like sitting on that too. Like you brought it Iconic up, and I was kind of like, "Hey, Y two J, all that." But I don't no. like he did. I mean, not to say he was he's not great as a wrestler, or all that. No, he's perfect. Like he's great. But like, would I choose him over like Batista or like anyone else? Not really. Not likely. So that's my that's my reasoning for that is like uh, sorry <laughs> sorry yeah you, you're taking the seat you're taking the bench Chris sorry man yeah he had a hell of a career but it just doesn't hold up I don't know why he's gonna become Judas <laughs> <laughs> damn dude look at all these look at all these wrestlers these wrestlers and that... only like seven of them are gonna be. Fortnite skins. <laughs> um, if it was up to us, I would totally make them. Like all of them? Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, that would be dope. I would love to see them in Fortnite instead of a uh, WWE. What about game. what about Bray Wyatt or like the Fiend? You know. Uh, rest in peace, Bray Wyatt. Rest in peace. Uh, I could totally see it. I could see it happening. Here we go. Specifically, the fiend. Oh, like, or like it could, or it could be. The they would have the variant. Yeah, yeah. I would say you could have like the entire, the whole thing. The friend. <laughs> the friend. Or like even the whole Wyatt family also. That would be cool. And they, they add Luke Harper also. Rest in peace, Luke Harper. Rest in peace. What about Mr. Kennedy? 
Nah. Nah. I feel I feel like he's also like too like not he's not even on people's radar. Especially yeah, now. Yeah, no, for sure. If they ever did like a series like that, Edge and Christian would be dope and the Hardy Boys would be dope. What about the Everyone Dudleys? Everyone would get that shit, dude. <laughs> what about the Dudleys? The Dudleys, nah. They no, wouldn't. really? They wouldn't, bro. Fortnite, nah, they wouldn't. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm just saying, you release the Hardy Boys and the Dudleys at the same time. And they wouldn't. They wouldn't touch the Dudleys. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just, it's just my thing. My. That's me it. playing Fortnite me on the epic games yeah you on Team the board game. meetings you at the board meetings <laughs> <laughs> is epic games uh so epic games is like a, a dev studio, right? yeah yeah they, they they're devs i believe yeah they're devs yeah damn can't believe can't believe they're up there now and they only made what the th- the first three uh gears games gears of war yeah <laughs> and then well, and then crazy, they bounced dude. and then they bounced <laughs> and they were like no nope and microsoft was like no <laughs> no please we, can, we can't let this fucking cash cow die all right <laughs> give it to another dip you know what to do <laughs> it's, so, it's so weird to know that like it's like forbidden knowledge <laughs> that that it's it was epic games it was epic games dude it's so surreal um i'm sure you know this but that mobile game also that one that like everybody talks about where you're like oh yeah remember epic games made this epic mobile game i don't know if you know what i'm talking about no that's a uh, a blade game it's a sword game uh take on hold up epic games mobile game <laughs> it's just Fortnite. <laughs> Infinity Blade. Infinity Blade, what's this? You you'll probably see it and like like the actual like character design and you'll be like, oh shit. No. No. Sorry. No. <laughs> Wait, no 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 no. Hang on. Hold up. Hold up. No, bro, I'm sorry. Did I know you... the sword. I don't know the character. I don't know the game. Okay. Uh, I, I know they threw in the sword in the in Fortnite. Yeah, they did. And I know it's like a callback, but I've never like once seen or heard of Infinity Blade. Uh, okay, okay, okay. It's, uh, it's like a... It's a trilogy of mobile games. And uh, if I kind of remember correctly... So, you're kind of in a time loop, maybe, or something like that? Uh, it's it's wonky. I need a refresher on this. I never played it. I just watched, like, a fucking retrospective on it. Because I was like, oh, I remember this. And I was like, where'd it go? And then they're like, oh, yeah, I know. Fucking Epic took the games down. Like, you can't play them anymore. I'm like, ah, oh, fucking Epic. <laughs> fucking Epic, of course. Um. So uh basically you do like your first run right and then you go through the castle and at some point or whatever point you die uh it like starts over and you're like oh no sorry it's it doesn't start over you you then play as like your descendant and you start going through the thing again it's it's crazy it's it's like a thing it's a whole thing and it's like a lot to get into and then there's books also um but it was like a cool thing especially for like mobile games at the time which is this was like 2013 um it was a real cool like concept and everything right and then uh and then boom <laughs> and then boom they got rid of it actually i think you could play infinity blade at like Chuck E. cheese at some point i Oh shit! You're right. <laughs> okay, now I remember it. <laughs> it was in Peter Piper also. Yeah. And I remember Angel played it, and I didn't touch it at all. But I remember seeing it there, and then it was just gone. One. Yeah, Infinity Blade. 
FX. That's fucking crazy. What the? F- yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, that came out trilogy. That is, that's crazy. Uh, I wonder when that came out. The trilogy is no longer available for purchase, but release. I don't. I wonder if like the arcade. I I don't even know that that was in twenty eleven. That was in twenty eleven. <laughs> Twenty eleven? Twenty eleven, yeah. And apparently you can buy it, the arcade, for two thousand three hundred and ninety nine dollars. No thank you, I'm good. <laughs> I just think the Fortnite. <laughs> Bro, but you could be the Epic Games guy. <laughs> You'd be like, I got Infinity Blade. I don't want to be the Epic <laughs> Games guy. <laughs> no, thank no, you. No, thank you. Uh, But Epic Games also made a uh, fucking... Paragon. Right? Paragon? Yeah, I believe they, they made Paragon. And the only reason I know any of this is because uh, Dominic, <laughs> at one point, said he hated Fortnite because, uh, like, that's Fortnite is the reason why they closed down Paragon. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. And I'm like, bro. I mean, I guess fair, but like, I don't know. I don't really like Fortnite. Like, I don't know if this is still an issue, but because of the randomness of your shots. Like, sometimes they'll do this much damage. It's like RNG on the damage. I don't know if it's still like that, but I don't like that. I don't think it's like that, but... I'm not going back. <laughs> I'm not going back anymore. You should try it. No. <laughs> All right. But I think, uh, I think, I think it's good enough to wrap up. Yeah, for sure. I'm actually very glad we got to talk about wrestling. I know that like, we like not actually about wrestling, but just bring it up because I know that we were oh, talking yeah. about that. We're talking about that ourselves. Like, oh yeah, we should maybe do that on our own we thing. Throw it in somewhere. I feel like the next time we should do the whole like uh that whole like <laughs> the McMahon family versus the Mishimas. <laughs> like, I actually have a thorough discussion about it because we had a like whatever conversation about it. I feel like we should go yeah. in. <laughs> Uh, but uh yeah uh thank y'all for watching uh thank you all for listening also right don't want to ostracize the uh spotify people um also if you were staring at the stream this screen for this long uh take a look at your white wall and just blink <laughs> and ain't no one staring that long <laughs> you never know <laughs> Uh, that one guy. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah i think thanks for for being here uh leave a like if you uh enjoyed i'm butchering it i'm i'm ruining it uh i'm the must he's the come together we must come <laughs> <laughs> uh this has been combo breaker let us know what you want to maybe hear us talk about in the comments or in the poll on uh, uh, Spotify. And uh, let us know what you thought. Also, and uh, shout outs to the Dubby. Shout out to Dubby. Shout out to Jim. Shout out to Jim. Shout out to Max. Wherever you are. <laughs> Whatever you're doing, shout out. Shout out. He doesn't listen to it. <laughs> I know I that know. for a fact. Uh, uh, I... <laughs> anyways we'll see you later bye okay bye check out the merch bye ah.